You are out of your mind. Your favorite champagne. The, the uh, truffles are from their chocolatier in Geneva, remember? You had them flown in. Mm -hmm, of course. And the American beauties are from Philadelphia. And I have an assistant who is on call, ready to satisfy any other desires you might have. No, thank you. <laughs> More than enough. Yes, I should think so. It should hold us over until time for our flight in the morning. Our flight? Yes, to London. I booked us on the Concord. Uh, we should be there in time to have dinner before the curtain at the National Theater. You booked the Royal Box, of course. Oh, yes, Macbeth. You know, he's my idol. <laughs> and I know what a fan you are of Sir Colin. Colin, St. Clair. Mm -hmm. If your uh, passport isn't current, I can make a phone call. <laughs> Adam, this, this is all very nice, extravagant. Uh, yes, I figured if we were going to do this, we might as well do it right. We're not doing anything. Oh. You mean London? Because if you're talking about having sex, we already did that. And I told you it's not going to happen again. You are totally wrong, and I can prove it. Uh-huh, how? You just slip out of those clothes and slip into my arms and we'll discuss it. No. No. I, I want you out of my bed and I want you out of my house. My, Adam, my son could come home any minute. Oh, no, your son is with my son and they're, they're spending the night at, at uh, Tad's house. Oh, you checked? Yes, I don't leave anything to chance. So, you can go ahead and act all upset and embarrassed and you know, you to don't finally know give me in, as or well you can accept the fact that you deserve a hell of a lot more than anyone else is willing to give you. So, bro, it's up to you. It's your call. So, please, but please hurry because the ice is melting, and if this champagne gets warm, that would really be a sin. Way, you're, you're just trying to be charming. Don't tell me you're flattered, please. My goal is not to flatter you. Oh, well, we both know what your goal is. My goal. It's to make you happy, Brooke. Mm. When are you going to stop punishing yourself? Well, probably not tonight. So you might as well get out of my bed. All right. You know what you need? Is somebody who doesn't pass judgment. Who, in fact, doesn't, couldn't care less what you did or didn't do. <laughs> I think I could take you a lot more seriously if you weren't wearing these things. Hmm. Very sensual. You want to touch me? They look... What, familiar? Ridiculous. Hmm. Familiar? You gave me red silk pajamas when we um, were married. <laughs> no, I don't think so. You don't remember? Well, you must have me confused with one of your other ex-wives. <laughs> no. One of the <laughs> great advantages of marrying completely different women <laughs> is you know who did what. I would know, believe me, if I bought anything resembling red silk. You don't, don't, don't remember a trip back on the corporate jet coming back from Hong Kong? Oh. Oh. Well. Hong Kong, excuse me, they have these practically on every street corner. That was some return trip. A lot of unexpected and inexplicable turbulence. Is it coming back to you now? Wait a minute. Are you trying to tell me that you have saved these all these years? In my hope chest. Oh, you are such a liar. <laughs> you are. Well, isn't it enough that I remembered when obviously it meant so little to you? Adam... I am not interested in reliving any of the few moments that were pleasant in our marriage. Yes, I quite agree. Absolutely. This is about here and right now. You are still a very beautiful woman. That was a compliment? Yes. What I mean is, you're every bit as desirable as you were then. Ooh, that was a great save. Hmm. 
one touch of your skin brought it all back to me. You are an absolutely, amazingly passionate, uninhibited woman. Look, I don't, I don't want this just for myself. I want to see you happy again. Adam, I'm not playing hard to get. I'm not, really. No, you're just, God forbid, afraid that you might be wrong. Yes, I do care that what I do is ethical, yes. Ethical? <laughs> Good grief, isn't that for political candidates? Well, oh, yes, I know. You don't think any rules ever apply to you. And in spite of... You know, my recent failure, yes, I do try to be fair and ethical. Yeah, look where it got you. You live your life without any sort of moral qualm whatsoever, don't you? Yes. And you might learn a valuable lesson from that. Ditch the morals, find yourself some very comfortable sleepwear, and you will have a happier life. <laughs> Make me laugh doesn't mean I'm letting you stay in my bed. Can you think of a better reason? <laughs> no one else is making you laugh these days. Well, don't tell me. You checked. No, I didn't have to. I know you who, who you've been hanging around with. Ted Martin, who's wallowing in his own self-pity after the death of poor Dixie, and Edmund, who mopes around after his resurrected wife like a lost puppy. And all this time, you... I've been moping around after him. Is that what you're trying to say? No, I'm trying to say is that you deserve a lot better. Aren't you tired of hauling around someone else's misery? Adam, you don't understand. I... I lost Edmund, and I thought... I know, you thought you'd found Edmund. You thought you'd found the one person in this world who could make it all make sense. You thought that all the mistakes you'd made in your life up to then, they were all worth it because they all brought you right there to that moment, and you finally thought it was safe to breathe again. Yes. That's it, exactly. Brooke, I understand. Better than you know. And I know why you're hesitating. Right now, this isn't right, not completely. I know that. Well, then why? Because we're here. And we're alive. And we can steal a little happiness for ourselves. It isn't love. It isn't love. No. That's the saving grace. Of happiness? Yeah. If we have to break a couple of rules to get there, well, there's no one to judge us but us. Insist I stay? Please. Don't spoil it. Okay. 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 One question. Mm. London. Have a wonderful time. Forget London. When, uh, when will I see you again? If you mean like this, you won't. Oh, Brooke, come on. What are we hurting? Adam. Who were we hurting? Well, first of all, your wife. Are you, un you know... 
the status of my marriage. Yes, and you have children, and so do I. Who don't know and don't need to know. Brooke, this is for us, you and me. We need it. We deserve it. Don't push me away. I have already pushed you away twice. And here we are. Well, who am I fooling? Mm. Okay. I'm going to regret this. We'll see. Before you go, <laughs> we have to set some rules. I know you hate them. No assumptions by either of us. No expectations. Nobody trying to take control. And if either one of us wants to end it, no questions asked. Well, and that is the only way that this will work. Fine. Is that all? No. One more thing. Nobody can ever find out about this, ever. Agreed. We're going to make this work, Brooke. We owe it to ourselves. <laughs> well, look who's here. <laughs> 